Module 5, Transport Layer. The Transport Layer is the fourth layer in OSI as well as in the TCP IP model. It's located between the application layer and the network layer. It provides the services to the application layer and receives the services from the network layer. The basic function of the transport layer is to accept the data from the layer above, split it up into smaller units, pass these data units to the network layer, and ensure that all the pieces arrive correctly at the other end. Communication is provided using a logical connection. So which means that the two application layers, which can be located in different parts of the globe, assume that there is an imaginary direct connection through which they can send and receive the messages. The diagram shows the logical connection at the transport layer. There are some of services which are provided from the transport layer. They are the process to process communication, addressing, encapsulation and decapsulation, multiplexing and demultiplexing, flow control, error control, and congestion control. So let us see one by one all these services. The first one is the process to process communication. The transport layer is responsible for this process to process delivery. So how it is done, the delivery of the packet, it is done part of part by part, that is part of a message from one process to another. The two processes which communicate, uh, we'll call them it as a client and server relationship. So next, comparing with that of the network layer versus the transport layer, so we can say that the network layer is responsible for communication at the computer level. That is, uh, we can say that host to host. So it is host to host. And a transport layer protocol is responsible for delivering of the message to the appropriate process. So it is the process to process. So next service is addressing. So before going to the addressing part, let us understand few basic concepts. Uh, so that you can understand the port numbers better. So as we all know the IP address, it's the address of a computer or a device that is IP refers to the internet protocol. So for example, if, uh, if you have, uh, if you are uh, staying in a certain address uh, and uh, if you keep that address, hence the people will come to the, uh, by seeing the address to your home. If, if address is not provided, they cannot approach your home correctly. Similarly, when computer has to uh, communicate or send a message to another computer, it needs an address and that address is known as an IP address. So there are two types of addresses. One is public IP and the private IP. The public is given by the ISP that is internet service providers. Whereas a private uh, IP, it is by the router or some, some other form. So uh, let us see how we can find this uh, IP address in order to understand much better. So let us see how to find the public IP address. So to find that, I'll just type what's my IP. So this is the IP address. This is a public IP address. Okay. And uh, in order to find the private IP, I can go to the command prompt and just type uh, IP config. So this will give me the address of the uh, IP address of the uh, system. That is the IP address, the gateway, all these details, right? So this is about the public and the private IP address. And also uh, we have two types that is static and dynamic IP address. Static IP address never change, uh, but the dynamic, I, dynamic IP address will always keep changing. Static, it might be the servers or the websites, whereas um, the dynamic, it might be the com computer and the mobile devices. So let us see the, uh, let us find out the IP address of, uh, let us use, a, uh, let us open the uh, Google using the IP address. So in order to open the google.com using the IP address, first we need to know about the, what is the IP address of it. 
so if we just use the ping command ping google.com so we will get the IP address of the Google so if we just open 170 if we just type the same address that is 172.217.163.78 a Google page is opened so by using the IP address also we can open the Google so next concept is the port so port is the exact um, house number or the apartment number whereas IP address is a city or a street name so how exactly to find the port number in the system so we have certain instructions to find out the port number as well and uh, there are huge list uh, for uh, the port numbers so some of the port numbers common port numbers I'll just show you uh, these are the some of the port numbers uh, which are used for certain protocols HTTP the web pages the port number is 80 for the file transfer it is 20 so whatever the if you open a google.com uh, the port number of that is 80 so let us try